Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do partial quotients algorithm. The problem we're going to be working on today is 7,594 7, divided by 12. When I set this up, I'm going to draw a line off to the side here and we're going to collect our partial quotients, which we will later be adding. So I'm going to make sure I keep them lined up as I go down. Okay. Um, so now I start off by thinking 7,594. How many times can 12 go into that? Well, I think off the top of my head, what about 100? If I started off with 100 times 12, that would give me 1,200. Mm, kind of a small number. Well, I know that 5 times 12 is 60, so 500 times 12 would be 6,000. I think that would be a good way to start. So I'm going to start off with 500. That's my first partial quotient. It wouldn't matter what you start off with, though. So but then we do 500 times 12, and I get 6,000 for my answer. I write it directly below that, and then I subtract. 4 minus 0, 4. 9 minus 0, 9. 5 minus 0, 5. 7 minus 6, 1. So now I'm left with 1,594. And now I think. How many times can 12 go into 1,594? Well, I would think maybe, I know 500 would be too big. What if we go back to that 100? 100 times 12 would be 1,200. I think that's a good way to go. 100, and I'm lining, lining it up right where I'm going to be getting my answer. 100 times 12, 1,200. Subtract. 4 minus 0, 4. 9 minus 0, 9, 5 minus 2, 3, 1 minus 1 is 0. So now I have 300, 394, okay? So how many times does 12 go into 394? I would think maybe 10. 10 times 12 is 100 or 120. What if I doubled that to 20? 20 times 12 would then be 240. Okay, I like that number better. 20 times 12. 240, subtract 4, get 5, and 1. Now I just need to think how many times does 12 go into 154. Um, I'll start with an easy number, 5. 5 times 12 is 60, that's too small. How about 10? 10 times 12 I know gives me 120. Okay, 4 minus 0, 4, 5 minus 2, 3. Now I have 34 left. This should be easy. How many times does 12 go into 34? Well, if I put 3, 3 times 12 is 36, so I know that would be too much, so I'm going to do 2. 2 times 12 gives me 24, subtract, and that leaves me with 10. Can 12 go into 10? Nope. So then this is going to be my remainder. I always circle it because I want to make sure that I don't forget about it. So now I'm stuck with all these partial quotients, and if I add them up, they will give me my quotient, which is my answer. So I add up 500 plus 100 plus 20 plus 10 plus 2. Start in the ones column, I get 2, that gives me 3, and then 5 plus 1 is 6. Here's my answer. I always write it back up at the top, 632 with a remainder of 10. And that is how you do the partial quotients algorithm.